we just want you to revisit what you said, you know, as a way of you know summarizing your point and the way forward for the PDP. A lot of us lost, you know, the cogent um, points that you actually raised or you made during your analysis. Could you help us do that very quickly, Mikhail? Okay. Okay. Um, the wiki, the governor wiki that I saw um, was angry about the fact that the zoning principle as enshrined in the constitution of the PDP was brushed aside so that Atiku can contest for the uh, presidency. He felt betrayed by that. So as far as he's concerned, the presidency should have been zoned to the south, just the same way the PDP, I mean, the APC zoned the presidency to the south. So it's, it's uh, not something that makes him happy that they had so many PDP uh, governors who are from the south, yet an attempt, I mean, they, they did not follow their own constitution, which stipulates that party positions shall be zoned between the geopolitical zones uh, of the country. Then he also sees IU as somebody who is not trustworthy because IU promised to resign should a not emerge as the presidential candidate of the party. And it is on record that indeed, IU said so, and it was recorded on video to have said so. But as soon as Atiku emerged, IU refused to, to resign as he promised, you know? He also accused IU of manipulating the uh, convention, the presidential convention of the party, just so that Atiku, his favored candidate, will emerge as the winner. He talked about the fact that uh, uh, aspirants were intimidated, people like the uh, governor uh, Bala Mohamed of Bauchi, people like uh, uh, like uh, Saraki, they were intimidated, they were told to step down for uh, Atiku Abubakar. Then, don't also forget that um, Tambual was allowed to make a second speech, which is against the guidelines of the, conven uh, of the presidential convention. It was during that second speech that he then said he was stepping down. But he did not only say he was stepping down, he then told the supporters to vote for uh, Atiku. So he is saying that everything was done to stop him from winning the uh, presidential primaries of the, of the PDP and that the, the national chairman, was the arrowhead of the plot to ensure that he did not become uh, the candidate of the party. He spoke about how the national chairman was holding meetings with generals in their houses, where he also said that if Wike should emerge, that he will not, um, he, will, he will resign as a party chairman. So he also said that the chairman of the party took one, one, one billion from someone here in Lagos and did not remit to the account of the party. And he threatened that if the chairman tries to deny that, he will mention the name of the person who, who brought the money and the account to which the money was, was paid. He also accused Atiku of also lacking integrity because Atiku had a meeting with him where he told him, promised him, that Ayu would, uh, Ayu would have to go. And that he said when they met in uh, London, Atiku repeated uh, the statement that IU had to go. And that when they, uh, well, as soon as they get to Nigeria, they will have a meeting where the matter will be finalized. But as soon as they got to Nigeria, Atiku never called a meeting. So these are the issues uh, that he came up with. And I had to ask him that, look, from all you are saying here today, you have shown us that the leadership of your party is not a trustworthy one and that uh, your leaders are not people of, uh, of impeccable character. How do you then, if you are saying they are untrustworthy, how do you then want Nigerians to trust the party and give it their votes? So we can, in my view, effectively demarketed the PDP during the, I mean, during the interview that we had with him. And if this matter is not addressed quickly, it will mortally damage the, 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 the PDP and make it impossible for him, 
for it to win the presidential election. So it is very clear when somebody so high up in the party uh, speaks in the manner that uh, Wiki uh, is speaking and is accusing those running the party of lacking integrity and uh, even saying that the PDP uh, is arrogant and the Nigerians are beginning to doubt the PDP, uh, are doubting it uh, in terms of its ability to unite us as a people. Definitely, this will have a negative effect on the party, especially as campaigns are about to begin. Anyone who had all of what he said yesterday, even if he was strong in the PDP, he would start having, uh, or if he was planning to vote for the PDP, he would start having second uh, 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 thoughts. He would, start, he would start doubting that that is the party uh, that, can, uh, that, that can solve the problems of our country.